Hey pretty hustlers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna Marguerite. If it's your first time over here, thank you so much for choosing my video to watch today. Thank you so much. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge. Don't charge you nothing to subscribe. Make sure that you hit that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads. To my OG subscribers, to my supporters, I really appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos. So, if you can't tell, it's a blue makeup look. Of course, I'm going to give you the dates on this hair as well. If it's not already up, I'm pretty sure this video will be up. Or, um, the video on this hair will be up before this particular um, makeup video. So make sure that you guys check out the hair video as well. I will either leave it at the ends on the cards or have it somewhere in here linked in the video so just make sure that you're on the lookout for that um i hope you guys enjoy what you see give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video all right my love so jumping right in i am using um to prime my eyes i'm just using the color pop pretty fresh um concealer and this one is in medium dark 125 in so i'm just gonna put that all over my eye and just taking a brush to blend that out and then I'm going to end up setting it with my air spun powder. Now I'm going to take the uh, the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use um, the shade Yodit or Yodit. And I'm just going to use it in my um, crease area here. Okay, now with a separate blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this, what is this, a Wet n Wild palette. This is the Poster Child palette, and it looks like this. Not sure if they still sell this or not. It's a pretty old palette. But I'm gonna go in with this matte blue right there. And just go right under that brown shade that I just used. And into the crease as well. Okay, now with a small more defining brush, I'm gonna go back into that Warrior 2 palette and use um, Shawada and it's the black shade down here. I dropped mine so that's why it is cracked. But I'm just gonna go right on top of that just to deepen this area up here. So to create the area where I'm going to put the glitter, I'm going to use um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal, HD Pro Conceal in medium beige. And I'm going to use that to just carve out the area that I'm going to place the glitter. So now I'm gonna use this blue loose glitter. Um, can't even really tell you where to get this. I actually purchased some loose pigments on um, Shop Miss A when they first started selling loose pigments. Um, and yeah, just I don't even remember 
um, what they were called. They didn't have labels on them or anything, but they do still have loose pigments on their website. So definitely check out Shop Miss A for the glitter pigments um, or the loose glitter as well because they have all of that still. So um, to use for the base, I'm using the AOA Studio Glitter Tacky Base. So that's what that looks like. And I'm using that to adhere the glitter. So I'm taking the glitter now and just putting it right in that area. And this glitter is not the like the best glitter. So you might have to put like two, two layers on. Now just using that same brush that had the brown on it, just making sure I get rid of any harsh edges, any harsh lines. And for the brow bone highlight, I'm going in with my absolute favorite, you guys know I use it all the time, is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Looks like that. I'm pretty much hitting pan, so it's time for a new one. But I'm just gonna use a small, fan brush just to get up in there really good with this highlight come on i came with that brush with the brown and just blending everything together so now that i have pretty much done the eyes all i need to do is kind of do my under eye once my foundation is on and i'm gonna go in with lashes as well but I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Um, my foundation routine is pretty much the same, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just speed through this part. And um, yeah, so I'll just come back when it's time to finish up the eyes.
okay so i'm about to go in and finish up my eyes so what i'm gonna do now is go in with my elf gel eyeliner and i'm just gonna go in and the my uh, lower lash line and do that So now I'm going to go in with my lashes and the ones that I'm going to use today are the Cherry Blossom 3D Faux Mink Eyelashes um, 20 millimeter and yeah these are in style uh, 715. Okay so I really like these lashes. I think this is the first time I tried the 715s in that brand or in that line from Cherry Blossom because Cherry Blossom is really one of my favorite um, affordable lash uh, brands. You can find them at your local beauty supply store or um, I believe IK House and Sam's Beauty does sell um, this brand as well. But I like this style because it doesn't take uh, away from the actual eye look but it still gives you that kind of flutter lash where it's still very flirty and very um glam so i like that um but now i'm gonna go in and do my lips and i'm gonna go in with this um nika k lip pencil in um what is this one brown i guess they just straight to the point when it comes to the colors <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to use that to line my lips. So you guys know if I do a super dramatic kind of eye like this, I want to go in with a more neutral lip. So I'm going to take the Glee Made um, Liquid Lipstick in Rosé and or Rose. The one I think is rosé though, and this is more of a mauvey nude, but I love it for this look. And I'm gonna go in right on top of that and gloss it right up with some sassy and chic uh, lip gloss from Dollar Tree. One thing about this lip gloss, if you are not a fan of like kind of thicker gloss, then you are not gonna like this gloss. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much done. The last thing I'm going to do is go in with um, like a small brush like this if you guys can see that um and i'm just gonna go in with some highlight and i think i'm gonna use um gold flower blossom by wet and wild and i'm just gonna use that right in the inner tear duct Okay, so this is the look. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair on and you will see the final look. All right guys, this is the final look. Um, of course, you guys know I have to have my hair um, done up and you guys know it's a wig. So definitely look, um, it, I'm pretty sure the wig video will go up before the makeup video. So definitely make sure if you haven't checked out this video on this hair please make sure that you do so um i love 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 this look it is super super pretty so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below if you have any ideas leave those down below as well on makeup looks you would like to see um let me know and i will do my best to try them i know i'm not you know makeup shayla out here like i always say i love her but um your girl skills is not there yet so <laughs> if I can't do what you ask trying to you know get me to do 
then I'm gonna just let you know. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys and I thank you guys so much for the support of my channel. Thank you so much and I will see you um, loves in my next video. By the time you see this, it will be uh, 2021. So I hope you guys um, just go into this year with a positive mindset. Um, it might not be like other years, but it's definitely not going to be like 2020. So let's just come into this year with a positive mindset. And I promise you guys, um, good things will come on, come to you if you have that mindset. So I will see you queens in my next video. Love y'all. Deuces.